Alfred Top That Trade, Phil Flynn, the Fox Business Network News Contributor, and Alan Nuckman, the Chief Market Strategist at BullseyeOption.com are here for our trader game. Round number one, S&P 5000. The bullish calls have been coming out, but Deutsche Bank says that 5000 may be conservative. Where is the market going? Well, I think it's a conservative call. I've been uh, making that call for months and months here, just based on the technicals, what the trade is telling us. We've got this breakout. We've got to get about 4,600, and then that should target us a 400-point move up to that 5,000 at minimum. Uh, but if you look here, there's a lot more upside as well. Even though the NDX is up nearly 50%, uh, we could see a quick move uh, to 20,000 in the NDX as well. I, you know, I think Alan is right, you know. I mean, Alan has really been one of the longest, strongest bulls in the market, and nobody gives him credit. He is bullish. Round number two, gas gift. Gas prices fell 61 days in a row. What's next at the pump? You know, I'm afraid uh, enjoy it while you can. Prices are probably headed back up. Uh, we just heard from OPEC uh, uh, this week and very shortly ago, and they're saying that they're going to add additional production cuts to, to the market. At first, the market didn't believe them because, hey, if you can't trust OPEC, who can you trust, right? These cuts were only voluntary. They weren't officially put into the OPEC record, but I believe they're going to do it. I mean, I have already seen OPEC compliance uh, exceed a lot of people's expectations. I think they're going to do it again, so I would be beware if you're trying to be short this market. And besides, usually this time of year, we bottom anyway. We're going into winter, demand goes up. Very dangerous to be short. Enjoy the $3 gas. It's not gonna last for long. There's a reason that cartels are in business. Uh, so just be aware, but uh, that would help the overall market if the energy stocks get a boost once again. Round number three, Scrooge investing. Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger were known for being frugal. Warren Buffett says about his friend Charlie that his idea of luxury was traveling in an air-conditioned bus. What lessons can be learned from their Christmas carol? Well, the lesson that he taught was he was a sit-on-your-butt investor, so he just let the plays do their thing and didn't think, and that's what we try to do here is follow what you see, not what you think, and just let it do its work. As Charlie Munger once said, only invest in a business that an idiot can run because sooner or later, they will. <laughs> On your bonus round question for today, investing $100 in Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway in 1978 would be worth how much today? 100,000, 250,000, or 400,000? I'm going to 400. Two winners. Congratulations. Business First AM will be